Hey guys, what's up? All right, all right, all right. It's Double Deuce back with the debut of the new, what's this, uh, number four? Uh, Toyin L400. So uh, there's a lot of interesting features on this thing. And I do have questions about it. So um, I've been kind of, I guess, thrown under the bus for having a love for Toyin engines. But this is how we all evolve. So we're going to get to this. I'm going to show you the cool features. I'm going to I'll do a comparison against the old block versus the new block. Okay. And uh, the center support bearing and all that. So grab your favorite smoke, beverage, and popcorn and hang out with Double Deuce today. Okay, here we go. Now... I did open the box up and did a sneak preview of this uh, for everyone out there when I first got it on my last video. But I want to get into details. So <laughs> there's a lot of details going on here. First off, uh, if you see the kit, it's always packed nicely. Um, they did add foam here inside your um, hardware package. And I went over this last time. That way it doesn't separate during shipping. But there's nothing worse than trying to find such and such number and it ain't here, it's over here. Uh, we're gonna start with the block. Now, here is the new block. It has, I guess, heat shrinks in it. And it does have the two drilled holes here for your center support bearing and it has recesses cut out here now your old block this is the one that I bought here this is the old L400 block now it does have the two holes here and the recess for the center support bearing which came in a bag missing two screws <laughs> so anywho um, I will put that together uh, with one of my old L400s. Now, the first thing that I notice about the block, other than the, uh, the cooling fins that they put in there, they smooth the block out, and it's a very nice, nice machine piece. Um, but looks can be deceiving. Always remember that. Here's the first thing that I noticed, and I want you guys to see this. This opening here, okay, through here, back here, back there. That's your cooling jacket inside there. Pay attention to this part right here. When I bring this one over, you'll see they have opened this up a lot through the whole jacket. Even back here, it's wider to get more cooling through the engine. Although these engines didn't really have an overheating problem. At least I never had one. But here's another thing that they had claimed on their site. They have opened this here up one millimeter bigger between the old block and the new block to get more coolant flowing through the block. So I thought that was pretty interesting. So now, um, just I don't know what these two screws are here. I really don't know. I haven't got onto the directions yet because I've been kind of drinking this kit up here, trying to savor it to see the the cool features that it has. Um, now, now that the block is there. Let's get to the rods. These are the new connecting rods. And uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I do believe these are in the new flat four engine too. Because um, I did notice there's no bearing in there. But the rods are made out of either brass or bronze. And... So there's no need for a rod bearing on your con rod or 
a sleeve in the wrist pin. Now the wrist pins, I did notice, are hollow. So that right there lightens everything up. And it's just, there's a lot of features on here that are new um, compared to the, the original designs they had before. Um, you can only you can only wring a wash rag out so many times before you got to throw it away. So they totally redid the whole thing, redesigned it. I cannot vouch for how long it'll last or what it'll even be. I'm just giving you the cool features, the pros and cons of the kit. So now we have your rocker arms here. This is your center support bearing here. Um, of course, your cams and stuff. One thing I do want to get to with the cam and the cylinder head is this. Now, here's the new cam. And here is one of the old cams that I, that I always buy extra parts here. Now, you're going to, I don't know if you can even see this on camera, but you see them ridges on the lobes? It's just. You see a bunch of lines on the lobe that 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 across there really bad really bad um not cool this is the old camshaft now the new camshaft claims to have more duration which means it's fatter around the lobes to give it more opening to more air to breathe and if you look at the lobes on the new cam they are smooth, nicely polished, nicely machined. So they have rectified the camshaft duration problem. Because we always said if that cam could, now that lifter could stay open for just a little bit longer, it would rev higher. So they've achieved that with this uh, gasoline version. So uh, now the cylinder head. You probably won't be able to see inside the head itself. If you look inside the ports, I might be able to get a flashlight in here to hopefully show you guys inside the port. Trying to get some light in here at the right angle. Anyways, there's not just a little hole no more. See how it's, it's an oval. It's opened way up exhaust and intake so they have opened this up to take advantage of the more duration on the camshaft on intake and exhaust side now here's something that i don't know i can't remember but i see the the plug is right next to the intake valve which is cool that's your intake side there so that means it's going to fire directly onto um, the incoming charge so now those are just some of the things I did notice on this kit the machine work is pretty nice on a lot of their stuff I've heard a lot of horror stories about people not getting um, holes tapped or drilled or they're off and all that stuff but the crankshaft I went over this last time it was rumored it was titanium but it's not and you'll see that I still haven't took it out of the bag yet so I can measure the out of roundness on the center support bearing I need to do that when I start building the engine so ah, now we have 3d printed headers these are an upgrade. I tell you, I love these things. Um, and we have a 3D printed intake manifold. Very nice. Um, I'm not sure how to breathe with that angle, but, but we'll find out. Um, I've seen different engines running. Um, one dude on Facebook there, he's like the, the L6 King, and he, he got his up and running um, with his own starter kit. My starter kit just arrived, so I'm going to go from there. Now, here's your new distributor. Okay, it has a little notch on the back of the camshaft here. 
like so and that slides in there and runs your rotor now you're gonna see that this is an adjustable distributor there's plenty of adjustment there you can almost like lose one position on your plug and still make this thing run almost but if you look at it I did put a marker on here to measure the degrees um, advanced and disadvanced there's there's quite a lot so you'll be able to run that um, and tune it with your barometric pressure your fuel and all this stuff now let's get to the fuel okay this is what I don't understand this is a gasoline version of the kit even says it on the valve cover very nicely built you see it says FS L 400 G that means gas there is no oil pump whatsoever with this kit um, I did read there could be an upgradable pump for it um, they did put a recess in the oil pan it's not the flat pan that we're all used to on the L 400s and it has one nipple that's it so my advice would be to run a two-stroke fuel with this that that would be my first thought however in their um, operating manual here if you read down here it says since this is a four-stroke engine in order to ensure normal operation of the engine requires only 20 to 25 percent nitromethane fuel now there's a difference between gasoline and nitromethane fuel if you have a gasoline engine you either have to have oil in the gas like a two-stroke to operate it or you need some kind of an oil pump which all the other um, gasoline four-stroke engines have so I'm confused by that um, this is the schematic and you'll see right in the center here you'll see your screwdriver your center support bearing however you'll see rod bearings here so they must have changed this after they um, printed this or re cycled this old schematic for this this is confusing for all of us and those are my questions okay should I run two-stroke fuel with you know an oil additive or should I run gasoline fuel or should I run nitromethane um, they suggest nitromethane so I mean it can be done but the whole purpose of running a gasoline engine is to save money on fuel when nitromethane is 50 bucks a gallon and your gasoline is only what you know depends on where you are in your world mine's about four bucks a gallon here so you have to understand that stuff you know and this is the what I'm trying to do is save you people um, questions by me trying to figure them out right now now in here now the the cylinders you put in yourself okay all the other kits came installed uh, you slide these in all the rings for each cylinder is in that cylinder keep those in that cylinder and uh, but the rest of the engine is pretty much basically the same um, you get your gasket kits your tool kits um, they do give you two head gaskets um, your flywheel still has the provisions for your clutch and uh, it's there's a lot of cool upgrades that I can't wait to test out um, it still runs the brushed starter motor um, they give you your cam and piston tools here to install your rings and your cam bearings and came came with belts um, but everything else on the engine seems to be relatively the same um, and I do know that these engines have a 
I guess, a bearing fault in them because the bearings are very cheaply built. Um, so you might want to upgrade the bearings before you install them in the block. This does have the bigger front bearing in here. So that's not a problem. They did fix that. But other than that, um, for the price, I think that they finally are listening to us and they, they're, you know, kind of getting it together here. So I'm going to build this thing and I don't know what fuel I'm going to use, but you'll find out when I start it because I'll probably try nitromethane. I'll probably try two stroke gas oil mix and I probably won't do gasoline on the thing. Now, I did get the starter kit with it. Um, this came later. And it comes with your plugs. You know, your spark plugs. Your wiring harness with the start button. Um, fuel. Uh, this is your overflow tank. Which I would suggest uh, putting this in your your little hobby box because the lids blow off these things like crazy when they get hot and we also got a CDI unit it's a Musa for this thing and we, we got another one of these again and I first thing I do is I look at the very bottom here and you'll see that thing's laying right against the bottom They've not fixed these things at all. So it'll idle, but when you rev it, it'll starve it. So put this in your hobby box. Um, buy one of these. It's got a clunk ball in it. It's the new Toyin, you know, version of the fuel tank. So this right here will eliminate a lot of runnability problems. And you can get those at techtoys.net. Here stateside, get online, techtoys.net, and you can get these there. Um, you won't have to wait six months for them. So anyways, I'm going to start building this thing. And there's one other thing that I did want to mention. Um, Kenneth Martin, he sent me an overflow tank for his company that he's starting. Now, I did mention his website um, his address and all that but his website will not be up until around mid-December sometime from what we understand so this is his overflow tank uh, the toy and nipples will fit right in here and I'm gonna be using these because these are these are perfect for this size engine they're perfect and you get a radiator that you can adapt to this engine and Kenny's on it so um, we're gonna I guess try to expand his products with the uh, Quen Chai V12 and uh, with techtoys.net because he's on to a lot of cool things here so anyways guys um, Double deuces out here. I'm going to start throwing this together and do my thing. So, like I say, like, share, subscribe if you want. Love to all, and I will catch you later, okay? Put your comments down below what you think of the new engine. Let them read them. Later.